Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors we're going to touch on survival a little bit. Um, I don't know how much any of you will n need any of this knowledge that we cover in the survival classes. Um, it's stuff I know so it's stuff I'm going to share that's related to the outdoors. But uh, at that same token every year in Pennsylvania people get lost while hunting, while hiking, you know, while just out for a stroll in the woods. People get lost all the time. And, uh, you know, while many people make it out alive, not always. And if we can know a little bit of stuff about surviving in the central Pennsylvania wilderness, maybe we can improve people's odds of making it out of the woods alive. And maybe ultimately we can even improve the odds of you not getting lost in the end. Um, but for today's topic, what we're going to do is we're going to work on food, actual sustenance food. Um, today we're going to try to get some fish, okay? We're going to try to get some fish, but we don't have a fishing rod, we don't have a fishing line, we don't have a fishing hook. How do we get fish? Well, we trap them. What do you mean we trap them? We make a trap for the fish, okay? And we're going to build one here, just a couple of tools. The only thing I, I used, I have a, you know, I have a harangue I carry with me. Um, it generally, and that's really the only tool that I've used for the, the making of this weir. Okay, that's just called, it's called a weir. Um, we're making it on a very small scale today because the stream we're in is very small and there's nothing but very small fish in here. Okay, if you were in a bigger body of water, you could make this on a much larger scale, um, targeting larger fish for more sustenance. Um, but, so today what we're going to do is we got a bunch of these sticks okay we cleaned them down we cut them to length okay we got a whole mess of these sticks what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to sink these into the mud and we're going to make a w shape out of them but we're going to leave the one point open we'll show you what I, i'll show you what i mean in just a minute all right here we are we're, we're finishing up our weir you can see it's starting to take kind of a w shape here just like we had talked about all right and the idea is we're just sinking these sticks in the soft mud here in this bottom and we're building kind of like kinda almost like a net like but the lines are straight up and down there's no there's gonna be no cross lines okay it's gonna be something like this and we want them nice and tight together because once again this here's a smaller stream so the fish in here are gonna be kind of small okay the, the best thing we can hope for is to catch them in numbers for sustenance uh, maybe not so much uh, size in here for sustenance. The, the, the size ones would be out in the bigger bodies of water. Okay, and that, that's, that's about a fishing weir there. I mean, there's some... A little bit larger gaps in between some of these that we could fill in with some of these smaller sticks that we cut. Okay. But you can see it's kind of a W. Okay, but right here there's an opening. See, I can get my finger right through this opening here. Hopefully you can see anyway. Let me try to adjust a little bit. I can put my finger right through this opening right here. This here's where we want the fish to come in. We want them to come into this pool that we created in behind this barricade. Okay, and you can see there's little pockets for them to kind of get hidden back into these pockets. Now, how can we improve our chances of getting a fish into this? Okay, uh, bait. That's the best thing I can tell you. And uh, being as it mountains of central Pennsylvania, we're at no shortage of crawfish. Um, crayfish are everywhere here in Pennsylvania. Um, they're pretty easy to come by. And just about anybody can flip over a rock and find a half a dozen or so of them. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this guy up, which, seriously, that's almost the size of a small shrimp. We could almost eat that if we wanted to, okay, if we wanted to catch enough of them. But for right now, for this experiment, we're using this guy's bait. We're going to set these bait pieces back inside these little cuts. Now the idea is we're going to try to draw the fish in to come in and feed on this crayfish that's inside these here pockets here. And then they kind of get confused and trapped in these pockets, and then we can come over and scoop them out of the pockets here and get something to eat. Now, 
Once again, I don't know how much of this information anybody's ever really going to use uh, from watching this show. Uh, I, I believe it's good knowledge to know. You never know when you might get into the situation, especially if you're going to spend time in the outdoors. Um, you know, a little bit of survival knowledge can go a long way. But honestly, a lot of it's common sense. If you sit down and think about things, um, things are there's a lot of common sense that goes into survival. And... Uh, um, and just the, the, the sheer will to to want to make it out. Sometimes people don't want to make it out. We'll let this weir go here for a little while with this bait in here. We're going to walk away from it. The nice thing about a weir is it does the work for you. You can go off and work on other things. And uh, you can come back and check on this from time to time and see if you got anything in there to eat. Well, folks, there you have it. We gave our weir a try. Um, it wasn't really that successful, but uh, you know, it, that's okay. It was more for demonstration purposes anyway. Uh, these things were set up on large rivers uh, by Native Americans for hundreds and thousands of years and used quite successfully, I might add. Um, like I said, this one is just about an experiment to, to show you what it's like and you know, to get, to get a little bit of footage of how to do it and everything. Uh, I wanna encourage you, if you ever do go out and try to do something like this, when you're done, make sure you tear it out of there. Um, you don't want some animal inadvertently getting caught in there and you not being around to claim it. Um, and then it just dies needlessly. Uh, that, that's never good. If you are going to take a, a life in, in the wild for survival purposes, it, you know, make sure you use it. And, uh, it, you know, then it won't be going to waste and it won't be a needless loss of life. So until next time. Keep your line wet and out of the trees.